Hi guys, what's going on? This is Dan. I'm doing a video, kind of like a reintroduction of my car. So, kind of going to start working on this car a lot more here and kind of documenting the process. Um, some of you guys have seen my other videos back when I did Cedar Point stuff and back when I did other So You Want Corvette gauges in your Camaro series. I kind of dropped off. I don't do flashy introductions. You know, I'm not a professional YouTuber. I don't get paid to do YouTube stuff. I do it just for fun and just share my knowledge. So, a little rundown of what happened with this car. You know, I was living in Ohio. I moved down to North Carolina. I had C6 Corvette stuff inside of it, and it worked fine. I kind of went through some personal stuff that I'm not going to disclose on this channel. And I kind of took a break from working on the car. So I got in an accident last year. It wasn't a big accident. And I had a short in the Corvette wiring, so I had to convert the car back to stock. So um, car runs fine. Um, this car has been on the channel several times. Those that know the history, it was a V6 2000 Camaro that I had got for 500 bucks from a friend of my brother's. And I slowly have built the car up. It is does not have a V6, obviously. It has a 6-liter V8 LQ4 bottom end. Freshly rebuilt a few years back. Probably only has about 6,000 miles on it engine has served me well uh, 863 heads 862 heads sorry it has truck heads holly valve covers speedmaster intake that i had ported myself sloppy stage 2 cam speed engineering true duels adjustable fuel pressure regulator ptfe lines pretty solid car it has a six it has a 6l 4L ADE transmission. Um, third gear mod where it's dual fed. A whole bunch of goodies. Still kind of doing some wiring work over there. I just got done recently redoing the harness. It has LS3 injectors on it. Relocated the map sensor because you guys know if you have an F body, you know where the original map sensor is and it's not in a good spot oil catch can you got to have that my cowl has been deleted so i have all this room now for activities the goal for the car is to twin turbo it i have the turbos i have the manifolds i just haven't had the time yet so this car has true dual exhausts underneath there. I gotta clean it. Let's take the inside. The ZR1 rims that are chipping paint excessively. The car's dir dirty because North Carolina pollen seas season. This car did have the Corvette gauges. Right now it has stock F bodies. Look at my other video about the C5 Corvette gauges that are going in. More videos seem to come about that. Um, I'm not going to turn the car off. You all know what a stock F-body looks like. But this is my goal is to turn it into a channel car and kind of document everything. Um, I'm doing some alarm work here. This is a throttle actuator controller. I was going to switch over to drive-by wire, but I was having issues with it. It kept erroring out, so I switched it back over to drive-by ca cable. Um, Pioneer doubled in. Everything else is pretty much stock. I did these seats myself when I lived in Ohio. They're not perfect, but for somebody that has never done seats before, they're pretty good. I did the back seats, too. I plan on doing this red and this underneath here red as well. And I'm going to get some racing seats for it that are red as well. Um, car, like all F-bodies, has cracked dash pad. 
I've been looking at some covers for it that I really like. Mine isn't as bad as I've seen. This right here I just did yesterday. I have a little divot here, but it's because all the foam is gone. I literally had to take this apart and JB weld underneath the inside and put it back on. So it's comfy. This is where my wideband was. I'm trying to find a new one of these here. Just been searching for the junkyard. As far as modifications to the inside of the car, it's got the relay mod for the windows. I can show you that real quick here, how fast my windows go up and down. Uh, Buick Park Avenue window motors. Of course, the window's gonna make me out to be a liar. You can hear that click. There's a relay in there and the main power is driven right off the battery. With the engine running, it's pretty fast. But with it just off the battery, it's kind of slow. I'm getting fobs, actual F-body fobs for this thing. So, Right now, the plan is, it's, I have another dashboard upstairs. Look at my other video, it's another dashboard up there. And I plan on getting C5 Corvette gauges to fit inside of here. And I literally had to cut all the structure out of all this. And they fit. And my driver buttons out of my C6 gauges are gonna go right here. And I'm trying to figure out a way to put heads up display right here so it shines right here in my field of vision. I don't want to go back here, although I may. I, right back here may be the better spot. I can put these buttons like right here. So. Unfortunately with the C5 stuff, I'm gonna to have to use a key. I wanna put the key probably right here. So I'm gonna switch back to my column. I love my C6 column. It brings the controls at a better reach. I think I'm going to retire the steering wheel for a flat bottom wheel without an airbag. Other than that, I mean, car is an absolute rocket. And I want to share my journey with this car with you guys. I plan on uploading a video at least once a week. And... I hope to see you guys. I hope you guys do like, share, and subscribe. I feel like I have a lot of knowledge that I want to bring to the community. A lot of stuff that a lot of people who have these cars can benefit from. And I hope that you guys learn a thing or two from me. And if there's any questions, just leave some comments below. And I hope to see you on the next video. Please, guys, like, share, subscribe.